Hello, welcome to the final session of the We'll Learn Tissue course. Today we're going to be making animals. Here are some of examples from past students. And here are examples that I found on the internet. You can find lots of examples of willow tissue um, animals on the internet. And these are the two examples that I will be making during this session, a fish and a monkey. Um, the techniques that we'll be using um, build on what uh, we've covered in the previous courses, in particular, the bending techniques, the curving techniques, from session three. So it's really important that you've done those sessions first so that you are able to, uh, to manage this well. Before you start making um, a woolen tissue animal, you need to do a little bit of planning. Um, that can be um, through your own drawing. So for example, for the fish, I know I need a sort of tube shape like this, and then a loop at the front to make the bottom of the mouth, a loop for the eyes, these sort of loops for the uh, fins, this shape in the back of the tail. And I'm sort of thinking about where I'm putting in straight pieces on the fins and in the veins on the fins. You can also use the internet to help you. Um, so I searched for how to draw animals step by step and found these really helpful because they really help you think and plot through um, the basic shapes which will then build into something more complicated. So let's get started and the first thing we're going to start with is the fish. So last session I made this um, shape that you'll remember from rings and straight pieces uh, pinched in at the end. I want to add a mouth in so I've got a ring that was made earlier and I've actually squeezed it at one end and that's going to slot in there to make a mouth. That makes sense? Looking at my diagram I need fins and tail that are curved. So in order to do that, put that to one side a second, I've used my jig that I made previously. Using wet willow, I've bent the shapes around and held them in place until they've dried. So here I have a couple of fins and here I have an alternative to a jig is to bend the shape you want and then secure uh, until it's dried with wire or with masking tape. These are some of the pieces for my monkey. Um, something else you can do if you just want curves is you can uh, create rings like this and then when they're dry, cut them. So I take my mouth in, as you can see at the moment it moves, and I just want to put a piece in to stop that. So I'm going to tape in a piece to there so that it's the mouth is just slightly open. Okay, and that's just a straight dry piece. I can use those for infilling. Now I'm attaching the tail. Now ideally, um, I'd be attaching it at, at uh, where there's a length running all the way down, but that doesn't fit in with where the mouth is at the front. So I'm having to attach it halfway around a ring. So in order to make that work, I'm going to put in another piece there and another piece here. And then I'm going to put veins across from that, those pieces, into the tail. There's the tail added on and um, it is as straightforward as that. The basic shape and then you can use thinner bits if you like for infilling um, they're not structural, they're just there to give it the, uh, the pattern of the, the veins. Now, 
when it comes to the side fin, this one here, um, I'm actually going to insert it at a cross like that because that will just help give it a little bit more rigidity. So I'm going to wrap the tape around there and then I'll add the fins in. Uh, I'm going to just carry on and add on all the fins in the same way. Okay, see you in a bit. Added the side fins on. Let me show you by putting a piece of paper behind it. So using whippy ends for veins. And now I want to do this um, thin at the bottom, dorsal thin, I think. In order to do that, I need to uh, bend the some willow uh, to get this sort of shape. So I'm going to start with um, some soaked willow, squeeze a section so that I can create a bend. I'm just going to turn that around and show you that's going to run along the side there. So then I need to create another bend for this bit here. So squeeze it, bend it. And now I need to get a curve in that bit. So I could be folding it around something, but I'm just going to gently work it with my fingers to try to get a bit of a curve in that bit. Just be gentle with it. So that's about the sort of curve. And then at that point, I need to squeeze again. Bend. And bend once more where it comes back to the body. So just cutting that piece off. When I stick it on, hopefully you'll be able to see how this all works. So, some tape on there. Wrapping that around the bottom line of the body. Plenty of tape because it's wet. And then coming around like that. I have to just encourage that bend a little bit more um, later on. Let's just see. Tape on the other end. Oops. Right, so some tape around. Tape it onto the body. Yeah, I might just need a little bit of extra encouragement whilst it's drying just to get that in shape. So what I'm going to do whilst it's drying is put a little bit of tape here, pull the middle in. So just using that tape whilst it's drying to squeeze that middle in so I get the curve. Okay, that's a little bit loose. I'm just going to finish taping that on a little bit more securely. When it's dry, I'll add in the fins. Um, the fin at the front here, again, is a curved fin. See that there? Um, I don't need to necessarily curve it beforehand. What I'm going to do is take some soaked willow and just gently work it with my fingers, or I can work it around a tube like before and make that fin. Okay, and I do believe this is too close together, so I'll make a couple of those and tape them on. I've actually used um, Oasis binding wire to create the veins on this fin because it's much thinner. And these ones, uh, because they're really very small, I think I'll draw the veins on later. Um, this has so far been based on this drawing, uh, which was uh, taken for a picture of the fish on the internet. Um, but I want to add something a little bit quirkier at the top. Um, I don't know if you remember this 
from uh, the uh, last session, but I think I'm going to attach that to the top to create a bit more of an interesting top fin. So I'm just going to take that in place and maybe add a few more veins with the uh, Oasis body wire, and then I am all ready to uh, apply tissue. Now I've built my frame, I'm ready to apply tissue. Uh, it's worth just saying that I could have added extra pieces in here. They would have added to the design and they would also uh, have added to the roundness of the shape. Um, but just for time's sake, I'm going to carry on from this stage. So I've got my wet work tissue. I've cut it into as large a piece as I can. I think I can fold around without it causing big wrinkles. So I can do that section, but I can't do any more than that. So try and do it that sort of size. I've got a pot of PVA glue. I've got another pot with diluted PVA glue in it and a brush for each. So just as before, the neat glue goes on the frame. And then the water down glue goes through the tissue and then I apply it. Now I've just had an accident and tore my piece of tissue. So I've had to apply it on in two pieces, um, which are overlapping at this point. And it's worth just mentioning that normally I would try to make sure the overlap was on a seam, always on the seam so it's as hidden as possible. But with this particular one, what I intend to do once it's covered in the wet work tissue and dried is apply colored tissue over the top. So this layer, it doesn't matter so much if the overlaps show, they'll be hidden by the colored tissue. So I'm gonna work my way down and I'm going to put the uh, wet work tissue underneath the thins first, uh, the thins on the side before I apply them to the thins themselves. All right. Okay, cracking with that, and I will see you in a bit once it's done. So the tissue is on uh, one side, and I've dried it off, and you notice I've left quite a lot of it sort of hanging rather than fold them up and over too much because you can, that can create a lot of bunching. Um, particularly on the fins, I want them to be nice and elegant. So I've let the tissue just hang off, and now that it's dry, I can take a sharp knife and just carefully trim that back so I'm just carefully taking this bit off to make that neater might take me a couple of goes to just finish it off so that's coming on that's looking much neater now as I trim it um, this is also an opportunity to look for any bits which are lifting up or anything you've missed and just repair them. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go and do the other side. There's the fish um, covered in the wet work tissue. And now I'm going to apply skins of, um, of coloured tissue over the top. Um, now, if you decide to do this, I would suggest that you have a look at um, some pictures of fish and, and particularly tropical fish and look for interesting colours that you could use. The most important thing to remember about the colours, though, is that tissue paper is translucent. So one colour will show through another. Um, so don't put lots of dark colour on and expect you can cover it with something light. Right. I'm going to get started. So my fish is going to be kind of speckled orange and yellow with some black stripes down it. And I found these, which I thought I would add as eyes. You could make a little ring if you wanted to, a willow and stick that on the outside and then put a little bit of tissue over it. Um, or you might be able to find half of um, a foam ball or something like that. Anyway, to stick this on, I'm using very slightly diluted glue, spread it all over the surface, 
put the tissue on without wetting it and brush it down and then add another piece over the top and I'm just going to let those overlap a bit, little bit so the colours mix. I've put the orange and yellow on the fish and now I'm going to start to add some black starting with a black patch behind the eye and then tearing strips to create black stripes through the fish. There's my finished fish with its black stripes. Um, I've tied some of the binding wire to the top so I can hang it. But I just thought I would show you all the way around. I put those black bands all the way around to finish off the design. And here is the fish litter. Now I'm going to move on to uh, making a monkey. Um, I've got two resources. One is a few different images um, of monkeys swinging from trees, trying to just look for the most interesting sort of design. And the other one is a, is a very simple how-to step-by-step drawing of a monkey. Uh, and this sort of thing is really helpful. Um, so for example, um, I can see I need some sort of ovoid shape for the body and that's what i've made here with a little bit of a bend in it just there for the back so it's basically a sphere but the ring in the middle is a lot smaller so it's all squashed in um, similarly got a sphere for the head i've started to add a few features on a couple of loops for ears a couple of loops for eyes and i'll be adding a mouth into that um, for the arm, I actually want like this straight arm on this picture. So I've prepared some pieces of willow, went soaked, so nice and wet, bent that hook for the hand here and take that and that nice straight, uh, it is four pieces, I'll join those together to make the arm and hand. The tail quite like the idea of a quite a long wiggly tail so again I've taken four pieces of willow bent them into shape and held them together with tape whilst they dried so really useful to have something like this to help you just break it down into simpler bits but also a few other pictures for inspiration but on to making the head it's a little bit harder to see um, these at this stage because of the layers but I've taken a simple sphere and I've put in some more rings and here I've added a couple of circles for some eyes and a brow here I've just bent some pieces of willow and taped them on to make ears and now I want to build out the mouth so what I'm going to do is I've got these pieces and I'm going to insert them in there so it sticks out. Let's just try and show you that the angle sticks out much, much more. Okay, so I'm going to take those in there. And I think I'm actually going to need three of those. So I'll bend another piece of willow to help fit that in. I'll just get those taped in. Now I've put a little bit of paper towel on the inside. So hopefully you can see this a little bit better. But I've got my three rings joined on to make uh, those lips and I've added a couple of cross pieces here just to make the brow of the nose uh, and now what I'm going to do is add some uh, curves from the bottom lip just to sort of finish that bit off so a little bit of willow that's got a bit of curving in it and I'm going to take those from there coming around the base now normally um, you wouldn't apply tissue until assembled the whole thing but just so you can get some idea of how it's taking shape I thought I'd put on some tissue on the front of the face so the eyes are working well and the nose I do wonder if the lips are quite right and if or if I ought to put in another curve in there though I think that might be useful to make the lips just stand out a little bit more 
So I think I will do that. It's not difficult. I'm going to insert it through there, uh, make a hole and put some tape through or wire it. Um, and then put more tissue over it. Once I've done that, I will move on to the body. And here's my body. It's very, very basic. So I need to add in quite a few more rings into there uh, in order to, to give the body more volume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the head and the body, putting extra pieces in, and then join them together and show you once I've got to that stage, then I'll move on to the arms and the tail. I've joined the head to the body. Um, notice that I've put the extra piece in for the mouth. And I have to say it was really quite difficult to get it to join uh, because the tissue was in the way. So I wouldn't recommend putting a tissue on too early. And now I've been building up the contours of the body. And I just want to remind you um, of the second session when we looked at lanterns and about infilling. They don't have to be strong bits, but the pattern matters. So I've created a sort of circle for the stomach and rings for the chest and uh, on the back, even a couple of little rings for its bum. Now I need to move on to joining, making, sorry, making the arms and legs and then joining them together. I'm going to make a leg like this, um, which is basically um, a, a bent tube um, and some curves joined together with a little bit of a triangle to make a heel. Um, to start with then for the leg, I need four pieces bent to about the same sort of angle. Um, they've been left to dry and as I unwrap those, if I manage to, they will all hold in shape. Yeah, and I need three rings. These aren't perfect, but they'll do. Um, a large, a medium, and a small. So that's for the thigh, the knee, and then the ankle. For the foot, I need a series of curves all the same. So I've made um, some circles, and then I'll just kind of cut pieces out for the curved part of the foot. And I will need um, some straight pieces too. Right. So I've joined the four pieces roughly in the middle with this, the medium sized ring and now I'm going to join in the large ring at one end and the small ring at the other. Use As I do I will just be adjusting and twisting things so that it all fits together. Um, there's my other leg so far. It's a little bit loose and bendy at the moment. We can strengthen it later. But now I'm going to move on to making the foot. So I need four curved pieces the same size. I've actually marked this. And from the circle, I'm going to cut pieces. Hold it up against there. So, oops, tear tape off. I've got four pieces the same length. Like so. Now what I'm going to do is join them with straight pieces at both ends. So two like, two like that and the others in between. I've joined those four curves together like that to form the curve of the foot. And now I just need um, five more pieces, a piece like that, and another piece like that, joining it on both sides, and then a, a cross piece connecting that. So I'm going to tape those on now. So there's my foot with a bit of a heel on it. Here's my leg, and I just need to slot that in there and tape 
in place and then trim a little bit trim off the excess so the legs can now be um, inserted and wired in at whatever angle I fancy onto the body frame that's what I'm going to do next and then I'll move on to making the arms so a monkey now has two legs slightly offset so they don't it's not too symmetrical I'm going to have one arm hanging down which will be made in much the same way as the legs uh, a little bit longer um, but for the one that's going upwards um, I've made to make it stronger I've made the hand at the same time as a kind of hook so now I've got to work out join those bits together into a cylinder and then splay those fingers out so that they work take those together to create a long arm and although those three um, curves just about manage to look like there could be a hand this extra one underneath that doesn't really work it's in the wrong dimension so I'm going to chop that off and then just try to turn this bit into a bit more of a hand by putting some cross pieces on So that's the hand um, finished and now I'm going to fix it into the body like so so the monkey will be hanging from this arm so the other arm modeled very much along the lines of the, the legs the bend in it and adding on a foot but this time instead of the heel going all the way across it just stays in, in that one area as a, a thumb that needs a touching and the final thing to make is the tail here are the pieces for my tail and because I want the tail to be really quite uh, thin at one end what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tape them together and just splay them out a little bit with rings towards the end so let me just put that together I've joined um, two of the pieces together with a small ring and even smaller one and then tapering and becoming one further down and now I'm going to add the other pieces in just carefully trying to get them to fit into place I proved a little bit trickier than I expected I had to put an extra ring in and reinforce a bit and had to trim one of them because I couldn't quite make the curves uh, meet but that's how it is you just have to improvise a little bit I'm going to join that on uh, and then can I give you a shot of the monkey so far before I add some uh, wet work tissue so here's the monkey so far you can see the arm that it's going to hang from the two legs sticking out the arm and then round the back you've got the tail coming out right on to the tissue so here's the monkey all finished and here it is um, with a light behind it so you really do see the shapes of the willow on the inside now have fun with this course and um, you don't have to do a fish you don't have to do a monkey you can do any animal you like just remember if you start from the simple things like um, cylinders and curves it's very very easy to build up something that's it's more complicated take your time have fun um, and i look forward to seeing what you've done please share it on facebook if you do facebook thanks bye-bye